Hi, I'm Rosalie Surf from Sketching.nl and in this video I would like to tell you about sketching drawing techniques for product designers. Let me walk you through the contents. It is the first of three books that I wrote together with Koos Eisen. It is about design sketching and it is aimed at both student designers and professional designers. You can see that we organize the chapters in terms of complexity. In chapter 1, side view sketching, we use an underlay as a very accessible way to start sketching. Chapter 2 is about perspective. As you can see, we do not use a lot of text throughout the book, but instead it is all seen in the sketches. Uh, that's why I refer to it as a visual reference guide rather than a textbook. In all chapters you will find design cases that directly show the application of what has been discussed. You can distinguish the cases from the theory by this grey area underneath. Chapter 3, Simplifying Shape, is a crucial one in this book. It refers to the ability to analyze shape, to break up a complex situation into easier digestible parts. Chapter 4 is about shading. With shading you can bring more depth in a sketch and it enables you to add more contrast in its composition. Lots of examples of elementary shapes are seen here, organized by shape. Chapter 5 shows you how ellipses are used to sketch cylindrical and combined shapes without having to sketch a block shape first. Again here you can see a kind of storyline underneath the pages explaining the fundamental knowledge needed to sketch the products above. Knowing about ellipses is a preparation to rounding in the next chapter. Here we discuss rounding, starting simple towards complex. You see that there's a lot of information on the page, which again makes it not a reading book, but more of a reference guide. Chapter 7 is about cross-sections in various situations. And after having discussed all these various approaches in how to sketch a product shape, we include a chapter completely from design practice. In it we show a lot of ideation and exploring sketches of product designers. You can use them for inspiration, but of course also to try and spot all the aspects discussed earlier in the book. In the following chapters we proceed with other aspects of sketching. Uh, chapter 9, for example, is about explanatory sketches, such as exploded views, cutaways, ghosting, material expression of a shape, we analyze images, find the specific characteristics of a material, and then we show you how to translate these aspects into sketching. Then we have a short chapter about expressing light, and our last chapter is called Context. The book works as a visual reference guide to quite a broad overview of design sketching aspects. It has sold over 100,000 copies, and it is available in various translations. Anyway, thanks for watching. We hope you will enjoy sketching drawing techniques for product designers.